There is a necessary legal basis, and there are political conditions for holding democratic, free, and fair elections in Azerbaijan, said Deputy New Azerbaijan Party Chairman Ali Ahmadov on October 13th in a press conference on parliamentary elections. The New Azerbaijan Party has successfully carried out a signature collection campaign. 112 out of 114 YAP candidates were registered. At the same time, YAP didn't nominate candidates in 11 constituencies and thus paved the way for other parties and neutral candidates. YAP has exceeded the minimal limit of 62 candidates required to participate in elections as a political party. Thus, YAP earned the right for free airtime in public television. However, if no other party or bloc gains this right, YAP can reject this right, Ahmadov said. Ahmadov says that having over 500,000 party members paves the way for history. The total number of voters is about 5 million. Usually, 40 to 45 percent of the population, or 2 million people, vote in the elections. If every member of YAP brings two more voters with him or her to the voting, there will be 1.5 million votes for YAP, he said. Ahmadov also commented on the cooperation declaration signed by three opposition parties from Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia. He accused Musavat leader Issa Gamber of violating national interests. Now the question is what brings Issa Gamber and the Armenian national movement under the same interests? That any mutual cooperation agreement usually has its targets. Whom does this cooperation declaration target? Moreover, Ahmadov commented on the visit of Dashna Kutsun representatives to Azerbaijan and said that people's diplomacy is acceptable in case of national interests are followed. The declaration signed in Potsdam, October 7, 2010, by Musavat leader Issa Gamber, Georgian Republican Party leader David Utu Pashavla, and Armenian National Movement Management Board leader Aram Manakian, focused on the right to life, personal liberty, legal parity, property rights, and a free market economy, the election of government in free and fair elections, and transparency in state management.